Tisha, did you take something from the drawing room? What are you talking about, Ducks? You told me to get rid of the head. It's gone? Yes. Yes, and if you didn't take it... If I didn't take it, what? Look, I won't blame you. I swear I won't. I know you did it because it frightened you, and I appreciate it. But you must tell me if you have it. Please, don't lie to me. Oh, I'll tell you if I had love. You make me tell you the truth, you know. I could never lie to a man as nice as you. Daisy. It's for the best that it's gone. It was changing you. It was evil. Don't try to find it, Desmond. Don't ever try. My, my, it's everyone's turn to hunt Quentin tonight, isn't it? I've got to find him. Well, now, you just wait. A little talk. Remember that riddle I helped you solve? Tell me what you found on Gallows Hill. Tell me. Nothing, nothing at all. Why don't I believe you, Desmond? You've got to. No, I don't. No, I don't think you're telling the truth. I think you've found something. Something you don't want to share with me. Something you want to share with Quentin. And that's why you're hunting him, isn't it? Uh, you're hurting me! I'll hurt you a great deal more until you tell me what you found. <laughs> Crippled Desmond? What did you find on Gallows Hill? Gabriel! What are you doing? Just a little family quarrel. Now you let him go. Now. <laughs> but you'll tell me what I want to know later. I want you, Desmond. I told you before I know nothing. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, uh, it might interest you to know, my dear brother. But Samantha and Tad are back. Tad is in his room. Samantha went out. I'll leave it up to you to guess where. Quentin. I'm going to go see Tad. Oh, you can't, you can't, you can't go now. I have to talk to you. I've got to have help. I've got to have it now. Do you remember when you first got back and I told you I had something for you? Yes. What was Only it? when we went to Rose Cottage, I didn't give it to you. Well, what was it? It was the head of Judah Zachary. You must get back to college. And I will take you there. <clears throat> no, darling, no. Are you afraid Quentin will see me? Doesn't he know that, that you've chosen him already? How can he know when I don't even know myself? You'd be a fool not to. You'd be a fool not to leave. How could you spend your life with a penniless, homeless wanderer? You're none of those things. Samantha, why don't you take a good look at me? I know you better than you know yourself. What you were in the past has nothing to do with what you are what you will be in the future. Oh, excuse me. You're lucky it was me, Ducks. So you're back. Yes. Please excuse me. Congratulations. For what? When does the honeymoon start? She was merely kissing me goodbye. <laughs> Who believed that? I do. You didn't used to lie to me. But things change. People change, even me. You do love her, don't you? I can tell. I can see it in your eyes. Well, don't worry about me, love. I got a brand new interest. And I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Poor Tim Braithwaite. His body was ripped from his head. I know.
know what it was that happened, and I know what it was that caused it to happen. Brenton, the body, the body has somehow found the head. Judas Zachary, he's alive again. It's impossible, Desmond. A severed head can't live. And a body buried over 200 years ago must decompose. Quentin, I came to you because you have an interest in these things. You accept the fact of unexplainable happenings. You must believe me, you do, don't you? Yes, I believe. What can we do, Quentin? We've got to find Judah Zachary. If we do, we won't be able to kill him. There must be a way. No, no, Quentin, a gun won't help. We won't know until we try, will we? Quentin, you don't know the evil. We're not going to stop him by talking about it. Now we've got to find him. Now come on. Back so soon. Good night, Gabriel. You just missed your husband, you know. Oh, I told him you were back. What did he say? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It didn't seem to stop him from going out. By the way, how's Mr. Styles? If Quentin comes back, shall I tell him to wake you? That's up to him, isn't it? Desmond, there's one thing I don't understand. If the head was here, how did the body get inside the house to get it? I don't know. Are you positive you told no one? Yes, I'm positive. I don't think the two are together. I know it. I hope not, for all of our sakes. All right, I want you to go to bed. I can't sleep. Now listen to me, there's no point in hunting for him further. Perhaps he'll go back to his vault. What do you do with Braithwaite's body? I got rid of it, what else could I do? All right, that's good, because with his reputation, I don't think anyone will miss him. I want you to get some rest. I caused this to happen. That's the terrible thing I can't forget. As a kind of joke, I brought that head for you. Now, don't worry about it. We'll find a way out of it, believe me. How, Quentin? How? What's the matter with Desmond, Gabriel? No, I think something is. Something has happened. And it's something about Gallows Hill, isn't it? Good morning. Good morning, Rod. Uh, Quentin, uh, I have a note from Samantha. Uh, you've seen her, of course. No, I haven't seen her. She was asleep when I came. And of course, you didn't wake her. Ah, the all-important moment is here. Gabriel, if you will excuse us. Good luck. You look tired, Quentin. Very kind of you to notice. I guess I notice everything about you. made up your mind, then. Is that why Gerard is here? Yes. I know with whom I must spend the rest of my life. I 
thought I had myself so well prepared for this, but now... Now what, Samantha? I find I can't face the two of you together. Well, uh, why don't you speak to each of us separately? Thank you, Quentin. I would like to speak to Gerard alone for a moment. I understand. I'll be upstairs waiting in our bedroom. This has been the most painful and difficult decision I've ever had to make. Well, I'm, I'm quite aware of that fact. I don't envy the choice that you have to make. I decided what I had to decide. Yes, I believe that's true. I think you knew from the beginning, didn't you? Yes. Because I did. It was only a matter of facing up to the realities of the situation. Well, it's done. And you mustn't regret what you've done. We've actually known each other for such a little time. I feel as if I've known you all my life. And nevertheless, I feel that very strongly that a woman must stay true to, the, to her first love. Yes. I believe that, too. That's why I've chosen you, Gerard. And me. Gerard, you thought I had decided on Quentin. Well, yes, yes I did. And you were ready to bow gracefully out of my life? Yes, I... I was expecting the worst. Oh, darling, I could never have sent you away. You are my own love and my first love. You're not unhappy about this, are you? <laughs> no, of course not. What, what gave you that idea? I don't know. I, I guess I expected a more demonstrative reaction from no, you. No, no, I was only, I was only thinking of you, of your family. Samantha, have you, do you really think that you've made the right choice? I've never been more certain about anything in my life. If I had decided the other way, I would have still gone on loving you even if I had been miserable for it for the rest of my life. I should go and speak to Quentin. Yes, and I, I will go back to Rose Cottage and await until I hear from you. Until I see you then, I'll miss you very much. Gerard, I'm going to make you so happy. Yes, yes, I know you will. Gerard. Now, I told you what her reaction would be, what her decision would be, didn't I? And I was right. All right, you needn't answer, Gerard. The answer is right there on your face. If you are here to gloat over me, you are wasting your time. No, 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 I'm just a little curious as to know what you're going to do. Now, I know you're going to try and worm your way out of this, but how, Gerard? Now, that's the fascinating question, because Samantha is just as devious and clever as you are. I will tell you once, like I've already told you, Gabriel, Samantha and I are very much in love. Oh, well, I'm very deeply touched, Gerard. But if that's true, why were you the picture of doom when I came in? Your brother, Quentin, he and I are the best of friends. I... I'm at a loss to think that the suffering he must be going through. What suffering? What, what loss? As far as I'm concerned, my brother Quentin is the winner. You're the loser, my friend. I mean, that's the beauty of it all. You and Samantha together for the rest of your lives. It's marvelous. <laughs> Get out of here. Are you forgetting where you are, Mr. Stiles? You don't live here. You don't own this house and you never will. You're going to leave with pleasure. Oh, incidentally, Mr. Stiles, I still have that arsenic you obtained for me. 
just in case you're planning to give Samantha some wedding present. <laughs> I, I just saw uh, Gerard leaving. He, uh, he looked very grim. He's very concerned about you. About me? Samantha. Now, what is it you want to say to me? Quentin, I want my freedom. I've chosen Gerard. Please say something. I'm having a little difficulty believing what I heard. I told you as plainly and as honestly as I could. Oh, I know, I know. I, I just wasn't quite prepared for it. Yes, you were, Quentin. You've always taken me for granted. I was convinced there was only one choice open to you. Then why did you leave the decision to me? I just thought it was the proper thing to do under the circumstances. Quentin, our life hasn't been right for years. We both know that. Samantha, listen to me. I have tried to be good to you. Being good just isn't enough. You have everything you could ever want in this house. Except love and happiness. Just how many people do you know have that? Quentin, this is my chance to get it. I must take it. Samantha, have you forgotten that four years ago I also had the chance for happiness and you denied me that opportunity? I haven't lost sight about what happened four years ago. Even though I didn't give you freedom to go with another woman, I was grateful for your honesty. I told you that then. I don't think I understood what you were going through, but I do now. Believe me, I do. Do you love Gerard? Very much. Does he love you? Yes. Please try to understand. Don't hate me. No, no. I don't hate you. I know that I haven't made your life very happy. But I thought that somehow you would uh, want to go on. As I do. For Tad's sake. 